you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Ray's at CM Trading. Today is September 16, 2020. And today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, just one major event coming out later today. It's the FOMC meeting. Okay, it's a interest rate decision out of the United States. So you do want to know it's coming about today. So that is the major economic event of the day. So just be aware it's coming out at 8 p.m. South African time. And looking at the markets, we're going to first start out with the currencies. The euro falters at resistance yesterday and just trades lower. While the South African rand is actually trading on support, looking to actually get stronger versus the dollar. Looking at the indices, we're watching the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones to continue to rally. Okay, And the reason I say rally, it's because not everything is trading in tandem. Now looking at the commodities, gold falters at that second resistance level in 1967, while oil finally jumps. And looking lastly at the stocks, it's the FANG stocks that are picking up some momentum on the upside. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're taking a look here at the Euro USD, and you can see this faltering level, okay, about this 1883-ish level, couldn't sustain it, and then broke down, trading to 1843-ish level right now. Now, altogether, it was about a 50-pip move, okay, for an intraday move, not so bad, okay, especially since we're going into this number later today. Now, you do want to realize and you do want to respect the different support and resistance lines here because I think we're going to, you know, be trading at one of them at some point, okay? So if we do have that extremity move, we do have that fade strategy, for those of you who have attended my webinars will know about it. So look into that as that is a possible move and a possible opportunity later today. Now looking at the GBP USD, not much to write home about. It continued that little rally as we call it, okay, from that 127.45-ish level. And so it is bouncing a little bit here, but not sustaining that bounce, okay? So if it does falter, this would be a level for it to falter at. Now looking at the South African Rand, look at this, okay? We've been looking at this for quite some time and every so often it becomes interesting again and this is a case in point. This is support, this is support, and this is bona fide support, okay? If we don't break this 1641, then we will bounce. However, if we do breach it, Okay, which it's likely that we will breach it because this was much more selling consolidation prior to the move. We could see it actually get back to this 1557, 1530 ish level, which was our previous gap up. Okay, so something to consider if that does happen later today. Okay, so keep that on the radar because I do expect some extreme moves from the dollar. Now, looking at the gold, gold trading at 1958, it tanked after hitting this 1967 1971-ish level not breaking above it okay that was our second resistance-ish level okay you can see that much clearer now okay 1967 was our resistance level and it sold off quite aggressively down to 1948 yesterday so ultimately okay it's still choppy trading when it comes to gold now looking at oil look at that nice little rally we had yesterday from 37.35 up to 39 dollars a barrel okay a nice little rally over there okay now it does need to you know sustain this kind of momentum if it does look like it's going to you know press higher to maybe the 40 dollar range Okay, but we're not there yet. Okay, but you do want to keep this in your radar because it's looking like it's back into play. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, okay, we're pretty much flatlining here at 28,000. Okay, this is a one hour chart. If we look at a daily chart, okay, that was the rally up to 29,000, the retracement down to 27,000, and then the bounce. Okay, so we're about a 50% bounce okay or a 50 percent retracement from our highs and from our retracement level okay which is considerably something like par okay it's like add value so today's going to be a very decisive day okay we're not sure which way the fomc is going to go especially since stimulus packages are still there in the pipeline in order to sustain the u.s economy okay so keep that in mind as we go into today it's going to be a little bit of a choppy trading i expect it to be lighter trading before the number actually comes out looking at the nasdaq okay this is a daily chart you could see we challenge this 11 500 ish level but not breaking above it okay we're about a thousand points from our all-time highs of 12,500 ish level and i 
wonder whether or not we'll challenge that again okay honestly because when we're looking at the stocks they're not move, move, pushing higher looking at microsoft trading at 207 but not sustaining that momentum looking at amazon also you see a bounce but you don't see a rally like you do with indices so i'm suffice to say that the indices are going before the actually stocks which is not a healthy way for it to go now yesterday we mentioned jp morgan OK, it looked like it was making that wedge formation, the ascending wedge formation. And sure enough, it faltered at 102 and broke that trend line at ninety nine dollars a share. OK, which means, OK, that I would be more susceptible to trading this on the downside. OK, um, and anticipate more downside momentum. OK, might not happen today or tomorrow, but as the week goes on, and especially with this number coming out later today, this may be a catalyst for a sell off. OK, so just be aware of that this is Fred Razak. Trade responsibly today. Make sure you're taking very tight stop losses. Don't let it get ahead of you today because I do expect volatility. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.